Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Yandu from Guardians of the Galaxy. We're going to get started on the left side with the brow line. So starting on the outside, I'm just going to curve down and in. Slight curve coming in towards the inside. Now from here I just want to curl up a little frown line. I'm going to curve up and in. We're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So I'm going to line up the frown line at the top. Curve down. Now I want to curve across the brow on the right side. From here I'm going to draw a little half circle for the eye. So on the left side we're going to step in. Just draw a little half circle coming up in towards the corner of the frown line. Do the same thing on the right. Now on the top left side we're going to draw a little half circle for a highlight. And in the middle of the eye we're going to draw in the pupil. So starting at the bottom of the highlight I'm just going to circle around Tuck this in underneath the brow. We're going to color that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside here, we're going to draw a little highlight, a little half circle. And then at the bottom of the highlight, I'm going to circle around the pupil and tuck that in underneath the brow. We'll color that in black. Now just underneath the eyes, I want to add a little bit of a bag. So on the inside edge, I'm just going to curve down and out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. In between the eyes, I just want to accentuate the frown. So we're just going to draw a little curve, but leaving a little open gap on either side. Just curving across like that. Up above the eyes, we just want to pull out the brow line. So we're just going to draw a little curve at the top here. Starting up here, we're going to curve in and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now just below this frown line, we're going to add the nose. So we're going to start with a little U shape. And then on the left side, we're going to step down and draw a little C for the nostril. Do the same thing on the right side. Now at the top, we're just going to curve out. Just underneath each eye. Now just below the nose, I want to add in the mouth. So I want to give him sort of an angry expression. So we're going to start down here on the left side. We're going to curve up. Up over towards the right. And now I'm going to curve down and out towards the right, to the edge of the mouth. And then I'm going to curve this up underneath the mouth in the center, curving across to the outside. Now over here, I just want to add in some teeth. So about halfway along this curve, I'm going to draw a little straight line going across. And now I'm going to cross it like a T. On the bottom area here, we're just going to color that in black. Now on this edge of the mouth, I'm just going to turn it down a little, just a little curve going down. And then below the mouth, I'm just going to draw on the bottom lip, just a little curve across. Just below the mouth we're going to add in the beard. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to step in and just draw a curve going up. Over towards the left side and do the same thing on the right. So stepping over, curve down and then just to the outside edge of the mouth. We're going to curve these down and in. Just pulling them in towards the bottom of the beard. Now we're going to connect those two points with a slight curve going Here we're going to work our way around the side of the head. So just beside the left eye here, I'm going to curve out and then down in behind the beard. So coming in about halfway along the side edge of the beard there. Do the same thing on the right. Starting beside the right eye, curving out, and we'll just pull that in beside the beard. From here we're going to curve out slightly and come up towards the top of the head. We're going to leave a gap up here for that metal mohawk. Starting on the left side, curve out, and we're going to pull this up just above the eye up there. Leave a large gap, line up the right side, curve out, and we'll pull that down on the side of the head. Let's add in some ears. So just beside the brow line right up here, we're going to curve out, and I'm just going to pull that back in towards the side of the head. Up in here, we're just going to draw a little hook for the inside of the ear. Do the same thing on the right side. Lining up the top of the brow, curving out, and then we're just going to pull that in towards the side of the head. And then right here for the inner ear, just draw a little hook going out. Now he's got some scars on the side of his face here, so I'm just going to simplify this. I'm going to start on the side, curve around the side of the head, and go back to the top and curve in the opposite direction. Do that one more time. Just beside it, we'll curve across, and then going back to the top, we'll curve in the opposite direction. Let's go back up to the top and finish off the mohawk. On the left side, I'm just going to overlap that line with a curve that goes up and in. Same thing for the right side. Now at the top, we're just going to connect those two points with a curve coming along the bottom. Going down, and 
then back up. On these top two points, we're just gonna angle a short line going up. And then I'm gonna connect it with a straight line. Now on either side, we're gonna step in and just draw two diagonal lines coming inwards. So right here on the left, we'll come in. On the right, we'll come in. And then again, connecting those two points with a straight line. Just along the edge here, we're just gonna add some wrinkles. So right here, we're just gonna draw a little hook. Move over, draw another hook. In the center here, we'll hook in the opposite direction. And then one more up here. Now that we've got the head, let's work our way down the body. So we're gonna start just below the chin here. On the left side, we're gonna step in and just curve down and in. Do the same thing on the right side. Curving down and then in towards the same height. Now we wanna draw in the collar. So we're gonna start on the side of the head. Right here, we're gonna angle the line coming out. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Now I'm gonna take these two points and curve in towards the center of these lines. Curve in and then down. Same thing on the right side. We're gonna add a little bit of detail to the collar. So up here we're just gonna step in, do an angled line, and then we'll pull this down. Do the same thing on the right, coming in, then pulling this across and then down. About halfway along the coat, right here we're gonna add in the belt. So from left to right, Draw a little curve, we'll step down, draw that same curve. On the side here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of belt detail. So we're just gonna draw a little arrow, coming in and then back out. In the middle, about halfway along the body, draw a straight line coming down. This is for the inner part of the coat. From here we're gonna curve up and out towards the right. Going back to the center, we'll go up and out towards the left. Now I'm gonna start back here and then just pull this down a little bit further. Coming down to the collar on both sides. We'll add two buttons on the right side here, just beside the center line, one above the other. And he's got the scarf in here, so I'm just gonna show a little bit of the wrinkles. So starting here, we're just gonna curve down and then across. We'll do the same thing on the right side, going across towards the left. Now we wanna go in and draw on the outside edge of the coat. So I'm gonna line up the eyes to right about here. On the left side, I'm just gonna angle down and out towards the left. With a straight line, we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down at an angle towards the right. I'm gonna connect those two points with a curve, coming down and then in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. On the left side here, he's got this shoulder strap, so I'm gonna step over and just curve down alongside the body. And then in here, I just wanna add a little bit of detail. So I'm just gonna add three little lines going across like that. Just underneath the strap, we're gonna add the left arm. So from this point here, the strap, we're gonna curve down and out. And we're gonna curve the cuff of the sleeve going up up there, now I'm going to pull this in behind the collar, leaving a little bit of an overlap. So curving in. We're going to take this curve and just duplicate it right above it, just for the cuff of the sleeve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to line up the bottom, inside edge of the arm, curving down, curve up, and out the sleeve. Now I'm going to pull this up underneath the collar. We're going to add that same cuff line, curving across like that. Let's go back to the left side and draw in this hand. So it's gonna be in a fist. So we start with a thumb. From this point in the cuff, we're gonna step in and draw a little half circle. At the end of the thumb, we're gonna draw a little bracket. And at the bottom of the thumb, we're just gonna swirl around the bracket and pull it up. We're gonna step down, do another curve. And step up here, curve up underneath the cuff. So there's a little bit of overhang here. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Stepping in from this point, Draw a little half circle, we'll draw a little bracket at the end. At the bottom of the thumb, we'll just swirl around the bracket and then pull this line up. We we'll step down, draw on the second finger, step down again, and then curve this up underneath the cuff. Let's continue down the body and draw in the legs. So in the middle here, we're we'll gonna draw a little curve from left to right for the lower torso. On the left side, we're we'll gonna step in from that line, curving out and then down same thing on the right side towards the heels. Now we're gonna draw on the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, draw a curve going across. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from here we're gonna curve the top of the feet. On the left side here on the toe, we're gonna curve up. And then just pull that back a little. Do the same thing on the right side, going up and then coming down towards the toe. I wanna to add a little thick sole. So we take this curve and just duplicate it right above the same thing on the right side. Now I'm drawing the outside edge of the leg. 
So from this corner, step in, with this curve down and out towards the top of the foot. Do the same thing on the right side. We're gonna add a curve up here to the top of the boot, just curving across from the outside to the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. We're gonna add a little cuff to the boot. So just stepping down, just duplicating that line. Going across on both sides. And one last thing, I'm gonna add a little line in the middle, just below the lower torso for the back edge of the coat. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Chibi Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.